Hi guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about how to build a deep connection as a couple. Exactly. My name is Purity. And my name is Shadi. And this is Honey Let's Talk. Where we say, when we talk. We make it better. So one of the things that we have come to learn in the mm -hmm. past few years we've been married, we're now in our fourth year of marriage, and we really, really enjoyed our first three years. Okay. It's been a deep, deep um, a time together. We've grown closer to each other the past uh, three years. We've gotten a baby together in the past mm -hmm. three years. So there are a lot of things that have happened, but one of the things that we appreciate is that every uh, single time we desire to deepen our relationship and make it mm. even better and today we want to share with you some of the things we have learned and how you and your partner can even take these things practical things and start doing them today and within a short time you will have a deeper connection yes yeah, so today we're going to talk about how to make time for each other as a couple in your relationship and why we actually love and we actually really love spending time together is because you get to not only talk about what's going on in your lives but you also get to talk about your feelings your fears your hopes your dreams your goals and you're able to sort of like track your relationship and get to know where are we at so that one is not moving ahead mm. while the other probably is trying to catch up mm. so making time specific time to be able to spend time with your partner is quite important spending time together is one of the most important things that you can do together as a couple because it helps you build a deeper connection and we have appreciated this because the past when we got married we were friends we actually started dating because we had spent a lot of time together mm -hmm. uh, you know spending time together and we realized that we had a connection mm -hmm. and sometimes the, the the person or the thing that you spend the most of your time with mm -hmm. is what you you connect to if it is your job if you're spending a lot of your time in your workplace if you're investing a lot of time in your business if you're investing a lot of time in your church if you're investing a lot of time in your friends mm -hmm. those are the people or the things that will really really have a deeper um, connection with you mm -hmm. and sometimes me being a pastor especially because I spend a lot of time with other people I want to be very intentional that I don't just give people 100% of my time and then when I come to my house, I don't give my wife the time, I don't give my baby the time. So we had to create intentional time that we can spend together. And this is what we call a date night. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7b, that whosoever soweth, a man soweth, that is what the man will reap. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're sowing in your relationship, whatever you're investing in your relationship, or wherever you are investing, it might be you're investing in somewhere else and not your relationship, that's what you will reap. So I don't know what you're sowing in your relationship, but for us, we decided, because we have a lot of things going on, we both work in church, we both, both are investing in other people's lives, that we'll find a time, designated time, that we invest in each other. And again, I say, this is what we call a date night. And a date night doesn't necessarily mean it is during the night. It can be a breakfast, it can be lunch, or it can be a date night. It can be anything that you do together to yeah. make sure that you're specifically spending time together and yeah. intentionally putting in the <laughs> sorry guys we have a chicken in the house so anyway do not be distracted with the chicken i'm waiting for it to grow <laughs> anyway yeah. so what are some of the benefits of actually making time together as a couple one of the things that i found out even as we get to just have a, a conversation or actually say you know what how are you doing even just that small statement really makes a difference especially as a lady because one of the benefits of having a date or making time in the relationship is i get to express myself as a lady i get to tell him what i'm afraid of what could be going on inside of me Mm. probably some things i'm overthinking this is the space for me to tell him okay maybe here is where i need help in some of the fears that i have and also to track some of the 
some of the different parts of our relationships and where we are at whether it be physically mm-hmm. are we keeping things spicy <laughs> are we ensuring that we are intimate other than being physically intimate the emotional part of it spiritually you know these are things that you are able to actually track and do if you create time to be able to do that because there are so many distractions that we have around us and sometimes if you do not have that time together you'll feel like you're drifting away i know i feel like that when we haven't sat down talked probably after a long day we come home and there's so much to do as well but just creating even if it's 30 minutes or 15 minutes to catch up and get to know how we've been makes a difference in the relationship and you're not trying to to fix things probably when they are when it's too late you're fixing things and trying to discuss things and sort out issues even as they arise so the benefits of making time are quite they are important for the growth of your relationship yeah so another benefit is that you start connecting mm-hmm. in a deeper level <clears throat> yes there are many things that i didn't know about my wife mm-hmm. uh, when we just got married mm-hmm. because there's a lot of things there is a lot of unfolding mm-hmm. of her personality her as a person mm-hmm. that i tend to see uh, as we continue interacting as we continue engaging yeah. when you got a baby there was a new aha that came out mm-hmm. that i didn't I had not seen before mm-hmm. so we had to create time to actually talk about these things because if we don't talk about these yeah. things here's the here's the, here's what will happen mm-hmm. it will throw you off balance and mm-hmm. you will start wondering who did i marry what what kind of a person is this mm-hmm. you know my wife expected me to be there or, you know now we have a baby you have to be present you have to be here every day mm-hmm. and i had to adjust my life because now there was something there was some she needed me more when now we had a baby than before exactly. so life cannot continue as usual because there's something new that has happened so date nights or breakfast or morning morning dates helps you mm-hmm. now track on these things that are happening between you mm-hmm. and getting to know okay now how do we connect now that we have a nanny in the house how do we connect now mm-hmm. that we have a baby Mm-hmm. How do we connect that now we are more busier than we were before? Mm-hmm. How do we connect now that uh, you know there there are a lot of things are happening. So mm-hmm. guys, one of the biggest benefit is that you get to understand and track where you are with your relationship and be able to adjust mm-hmm. as you go. You can't remain constant yes. because nothing remains constant. Mm-hmm. I change, you know, mm-hmm. as the church is growing, it demands more of my time. Uh, you know with her work it demands more of her time with mm-hmm. our baby growing it de- she demands more of our time yeah. so there is a lot that are uh, coming up every day and sometimes if you don't talk about these things you might realize one of you is actually struggling or mm-hmm. one of you is the one now mm-hmm. uh, you know doing the heavy lifting mm-hmm. and they are struggling they are now experiencing some emotional breakdown and you might not know so mm-hmm. when you go on a date and we're going to give you some few tips on how to you know conduct a date mm-hmm. but when you go on a date it helps you understand where are you what are you feeling where do i need to help where do i need to step in and she can even just tell me mm-hmm. what i need to do more to help her now transition um and let, let me just be honest with you guys after we got a baby it became hard and some most of you have noticed it became hard for us to do these videos because now she was now trying to transition back from you know that season of having a baby you know mm-hmm. delivering what mm-hmm. she's been tired every single time you know and it was hard but we had now to say okay what do we do do we do we take a pause do i continue doing the videos do what what do we do we had to make some adjustments mm-hmm. and for you right now where you are as a couple you need to understand what is it that is happening and how do we make some adjustments so that we can fit in and continue working uh together and here are some of the things you can do mm-hmm. um with a date night yes so how do you actually do this now disclaimer we are not saying that the only time that you'll actually get to talk is only when you create time for each other no you have to keep the communication going each and every day each and every time to to constantly be in touch with one another and yeah. to constantly connect. However, this is an additional factor to your relationship mm-hmm. and a space where you can now talk about things probably you would not talk about on a day-to-day basis. So one of the things that for us has 
actually really really helped our relationship and our marriage is being able to schedule a date night or a date day <laughs> let me say date day because it could be we are taking a walk it could be we are we are doing breakfast lunch dinner it could be we are we are probably in the car and we needed to just take like a one hour and discuss some few things take a drive mm. it can be in any place and in any situation and in any circumstance however schedule it so one of the things that once you both realize that this is a day that works for the both of us and we are both able to put it in our calendars then schedule it go on a date and we protect that time mm. and what that has done for us is also it has kept us accountable to each other that we are not just changing the times just because we are busy or just because we have responsibilities whether it be family work whatever it is that is pulling our attention to we are able to guard that day against those distractions so one of the things that has helped to do that is it has also created a space for us to commit to the day so probably you are wondering how do i commit to it probably it would mean also setting a certain time mm. you know maybe for you probably you say it's wednesdays for us wednesdays are the days that we have date days so if it's a wednesday and i know probably we've specifically said it's from 5 to this time mm. because after that we have other activities then we set that time and stick to it now the challenge comes in if probably it's you know it's that day it's probably thursday but then you are like okay maybe we'll do it in the morning maybe we'll do it in the afternoon maybe we'll do it at night that could work for you as well but just make sure that you're creating the exact times you're protecting it you're scheduling it mm. and you have a specific day that works for the both of you yeah so here's what my wife has said number one, identify the day yes and the time mm-hmm. okay for us it's wednesday in the evening mm-hmm. we know this is our time this is our day the second one is you need to schedule it you need to have it in your mm-hmm. calendar so that when you're planning anything else when you come to that day you know this day i can't put anything yeah. that clashes with this day mm-hmm. is the most important thing in my life the third thing is that you need to protect it protect mm-hmm. it against anything you know against your your work against activities with friends mm. against anything and unless sure that unless it's an emergency and mm. that is if anyone is dying anyone or something <clears throat> yeah and then the the last one is that you need to save up for it yes. okay there are several types of dates there are those dates that you say these dates will not cost us anything mm. it will just cost us our time we'll just walk and we just talk for an hour or two and then come back to the house we don't need to buy anything we just need to walk mm. and and enjoy that time together. The second one is those dates where we are saying it is less expensive. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's maybe you're spending 100 200 shillings, um you know, 1000, I don't know. Mm. And you just go there and have a cup of coffee or mm. a cup of tea and just have conversation. Or ice cream. And then you can have those dates where you're saying this is one in a lifetime dates mm. whereby maybe once a year Uh, you know once every six months you're saying we are going to save up for this and then this day we're going to go somewhere and go to an expensive place or we're going to go and do something expensive or something that will cost you money so you save up for it so you have to do these four things if you are to actually have a meaningful date mm. here's the golden rule the golden rule is this do not change the date without consulting with your partner. Exactly. Do not just go there and you know <laughs> commit to something without telling your partner. Not not even telling without consulting with them. Yes, hey, there's yeah. this something that is coming up mm-hmm. and I I need to get to this meeting. Uh is it okay if we do this or that? And then your partner will be able to, you know, to to weigh in to the conversation mm-hmm. so that they will not be disappointed. Mm-hmm. And then don't procrastinate. You don't have to spend money. Don't procrastinate. You don't even have to do anything. You can even stay in the house and say let's let's net Netflix and chill today and just have our date in the house and just mm-hmm. you know prepare dinner and let's just eat together and have a conversation. Mm-hmm. If you do these four things, you'll be able to protect your date. Mm-hmm. There are many times that we have found ourselves in a situation yeah. whereby 
you know mm-hmm. uh, maybe my wife is at work me I'm, you know cuz i work in this in this side mm-hmm. uh, my my workplace is closer to home so i can arrange myself easily but for her sometimes she gets herself and she knows that it's our date day but something comes up and uh, before she navigates <laughs> between where she works to where we are it becomes a hassle so it's good to actually plan ahead plan ahead plan mm-hmm. ahead plan ahead if there are things that you need to do if they are meeting in your workplace you need to under- unless it's an again unless it's an emergency but it's meetings that you know this day i usually have meetings that are unpredictable don't put your date day on that day <laughs> because it will not work yeah even just decide let's have our date day on sunday where we are all at home mm. and and enjoy um that time so build up again going back to the verse you need to invest so seeds yes. invest mm. and grow here are a few things that you can talk to mm. on on a date mm. so just to add on what he said on where you can go probably some of you are dating it's a long distance relationship mm. there is zoom there is uh whatsapp video there is uh facetime mm. there are very many and i don't even know the others i mean you're probably more taken than i am <laughs> there are way more there is probably telegram is there another one tinder. is it tinder? no no, no. <laughs> okay let me not go there no, it's no, not no, nice are you in tinder no 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 <laughs> Ah. I am not. Okay. <laughs> we need to talk up after this our date. This is the conversation. This is the agenda. Yeah, that's the agenda. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can actually go virtual with your dates if yep. probably you can't meet um you can't meet together. I know of people who there's a couple who told me that they even actually dress up sit down have probably coffee one is having coffee on one end and the other one is having yeah. coffee on the other Possible. and they have a conversation and it actually uplifts their relationship so no matter where you are whether you are far from each other probably it's from one town to the other you can definitely create time for one another yeah. so one just a sample of a date day now you can probably Maybe when you're starting out it may be a bit hard because you're wondering okay we are constantly sorting out issues when we meet on a date and maybe that's your situation right now where you are any every time you meet it's for sorting out a domain after another after another a conflict after the other after the other mm. Now one of the things that has helped us with that is to actually space out the days or the the, the weeks and the agendas of what you're going to discuss. So one of the tip we could give you is maybe probably the first week you can talk about your friendship. This is where probably you talked about your feelings, talk about fears, talk mm. about your emotions, mm. sort of like just that connection that you need to have mm. each other to create a friendship in your relationship or marriage in this case. Then the other thing maybe week 2 maybe you can talk about communication. So probably this is where you talk about your issues probably you bring out now all those things that you've been saying you know what this one I have to come and talk about on this week probably you can do that discuss every of those things how do you solve conflicts are you in a good place together probably one of you is okay the other one is not okay this is where you can actually express yourself to one another that's communication then another week week 3 probably you could talk about your future now this is where you can say we have these goals we have this um these certain aspects that we need to talk about in our relationship how about we talk about them probably finances can come into play at this point and this is where you can actually talk about those things and all these things just one disclaimer is it doesn't have to be structured as we have done mm. or probably that is what has worked for us yeah. something else can work for you however you are sort of like covering every aspect mm. or every every part of your relationship not just the feelings part mm. not just the conflicts part but there are different aspects that you're sorting out however if an issue arises mm. and you're in a date and probably it's week one Like for us I know that there are weeks where we are like okay this was the day we were to talk about finances however there's this issue that we need to address first mm. before we move on into anything and sometimes probably that could be the only thing that we discuss however we know that at the end of the day we've had the date but we've also talked to each other we've expressed to one another and it has helped 
even though we didn't sort out what we wanted to, to, to talk about that day, we were able to sort out the exact thing that was affecting us. Yeah, so a date night can be uh, an awesome time to mm-hmm. hang out, to have fun, mm-hmm. but also it can be an intense time to actually yes. deal yeah. with issues mm-hmm. in your relationship. And one of the tips that we can give you is this, when you're having this intense you know, moment mm-hmm. in a date, okay? fight the issue not the person just figure out what is the issue Mm -hmm. what are we fighting about we're fighting about money we're fighting about budgeting we're fighting about this Mm -hmm. okay so this is the problem you're not the problem this is the problem what is your responsibility in this problem Mm -hmm. (laughs) what have what is your role what have you done that you have caused us to be here Mm -hmm. you know and then the other person also answers the same question what have i done to cause us to be here. If for us, maybe for example, we are going on a date and we are talking about money and budgeting and we are in debt that month. And we ask ourselves, okay, the issue is that we are in debt, mm. but we had a budget. So what is what is my responsibility? What role mm. have I played to bring us to this problem? And I can mm. say maybe for example, for me, I can say, oh, you know what? I found this guy and I committed money that I knew it was not in the budget. And, you know, I am sorry for this. Mm-hmm. And next month, I'll try to consult and try to work on this, okay? And maybe for her, she can say, hey, you know what? Uh, we had planned this is the money we'll spend for shopping. Mm-hmm. But I went ahead and I bought more than we had we'd, we had agreed. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. The next week, we're going to make it better. better. Remember... When you talk, you make it better. When you talk, you make it better. And that's why you have to go on these dates and you have to engage each other. But remember, the goal of a date is that you leave that place stronger and even on a deeper level as a couple. Don't go on a date and then it's a place where you're just fighting and that date has become even a curse you know in your relationship you know make it and that's why there are many people who will tell you we tried those dates we tried this it didn't work for us because the motive their you know the attitude their the 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 way your guys are running the date maybe it's it's the wrong way you just need to understand that when you're coming we need to leave this place better and you can spend as much time as possible to ensure that you're going home knowing that yeah. I have released, yeah. I have been forgiven. Mm. Here are three things you can do on a date. Number one, you need to come ready to apologize. Yeah. Forgiveness. <laughs> and then number two, you need to come ready to forgive. Okay? And then number three, you need to come ready to fight for the relationship. Those are three things. Every day, no matter what you guys are talking about, you have to have those three mm. attitudes when you are coming in. Number one, the attitude to say, I am sorry. Because you'll find that there are some things that your partner will say that it is your fault and you have to apologize. Mm. The second is to the attitude to forgive. Mm. Once my partner has admitted that it was her fault or me have admitted it was my fault, she needs to come ready to forgive me. Mm. And then the third, you need to come ready to fight for the relationship. Mm. Okay? No matter what you guys are fighting about, you need to come ready with an attitude of saying, at the end of the day, we need to leave this date better yeah. and happy and more satisfied mm. in this relationship. And that day, for those who are married, it needs to end up in the highest level of oh, intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> the highest, you guys understand what I'm talking about. The highest for level those who are for those who are married. For those yes. who are not married, yeah, you go and you just dream. I don't know what you're going to do. But it needs to get you there to a place yeah. whereby you have connected well. Mm. You have connected well. Mm. And you have said, Yani, I have forgiven <laughs> you. I am sorry. And yeah. let's, let's connect together. Yes. And then another thing. Last one as I finished just came up. Mm. Um, uh, as I was finishing. There are some issues that might not be able to be solved on one sitting. Okay, mm-hmm. you come, you've talked about something, and you have, you've gotten to a place whereby you, time, you know, was not enough for that. You know, it's okay to say, okay, let's pause this here, let's work on what we have already talked about, and then let's go forward. Mm-hmm. And next week, maybe, or tomorrow, or maybe another day, we'll try and and work on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a friend of us who keeps saying that it is progress over perfection. Yes. So that day, let there be progress. Mm-hmm. Let there be progress over mm-hmm. perfection. At the end of the day, you look back and you say, "Ah, oh, man, we have had a deeper connection." Yeah. Let me say to you guys prophetically: there is no person 
that will make you happier than your partner. Yeah, the one you have, not the one you think that you should have. <laughs> the one you have. And that needs to come from you. Mm-hmm. If I want my my wife to make me more happy, I need to sow seed because that's what I reap. What I sow in her is what I reap. And what she sows in me is what I reap. And at the end of the day, the Bible is clear. What a man soweth, that is what he shall reap. And here at Honey Let's Talk, we keep saying, when we talk, we make it better. So go and keep talking. Exactly. See you in the next one. See you. We love you. Make sure highest level intimacy. Make sure you subscribe if you want to know the highest level of intimacy. And like this video and share it with a friend. And comment below when is your date day? When is your date day? And where do you go?